Hi, I'm Dr. Albert Ho with Bluefish Pediatrics and I'll be talking about bronchiolitis. Bronchiolitis is a viral lower respiratory tract infection that affects young babies and children less than two years of age. It most commonly occurs in the fall and the winter months during the cough and cold season and most commonly caused by the viruses RSV and rhinovirus. And since it's due to a virus, if your child has bronchiolitis, they would have caught the virus from somebody else. Bronchiolitis typically presents with a child who has fever, cough, congestion, and lower respiratory tract symptoms, which on the outside can look like breathing hard, breathing fast, or even having wheezing, which says a high-pitched whistling sound on the exhale. Physical exam may also show low oxygen levels as well. And just like any other infection, your child may be more fussy, lower energy, and sleeping and eating more poorly. Symptoms are usually relatively mild on days one and two of the illness, and they can sometimes get pretty bad on about days three, four, and five. But by days six and seven, things start to improve. At that point, the fever should resolve, the work of breathing is improving, the feeding is improving, and the cough is starting to let up a little bit. However, since this was a lower respiratory tract infection, know that the lungs have a lot of healing to do and the cough may last for two to four weeks, though it should be improving during this time period. The diagnosis is made based on the symptoms, the typical timeline, and a physical exam showing worker breathing and wheezing and crackles inside the lungs. Blood tests and chest x-rays are not usually needed and are not usually helpful, and testing for specific viruses may be helpful in certain circumstances, though it does not always change uh, treatment management decisions. The most important part of treatment is to provide adequate supportive care, so make sure that they're drinking fluids. Expect that your child will be have decreased oral intake and decreased appetite just like you when you feel sick. So your goal is to give them a small amount of fluid on a more frequent basis to make sure they're at least getting something. And for fluids, you could really use anything. You could use breast milk, you could use formula, Pedialyte, and if your child's old enough, water, juice, or even Gatorade can be used. As long as your child is urinating on a regular basis, then we're doing a good job with hydration. However, if your child is less than 12 months of age and if it's been over six hours with no wet diapers at all, not even a little bit, or if your child is 12 to 24 months of age and has been over eight to 10 hours with no urine output, that may be a red flag. Um, nasal suction can be helpful to get help them with all, relieve all the nasal congestion. So it's important to know that their body will be producing so much snot that it'll be almost impossible to keep up with all of it. And every time you do nasal suction, it can cause a little bit of irritation in the nose. So overuse can cause some nose bleeding. So it's best to use it when they really need it. So before feeding, before bedtime, or they seem just absolutely miserable with all the snot. Humidifiers in the room can also help to help uh, decrease the congestion in their nose as well. Acetaminophen and ibuprofen can help out with fever and discomfort symptoms, but it's important to understand its uses. While it can help with the fever and discomfort symptoms, they're not absolutely necessary for this illness. They do not shorten the duration of the illness and they do not relieve respiratory symptoms either. The next most important thing is to monitor for red flag symptoms. While the vast majority of children who have bronchiolitis can be treated successfully at home, some may need hospitalization if their symptoms get severe enough. And remember, the symptoms are worse on days three, four, and five, so it's important to look out during this time period for that. So these are things to look out for. You gotta monitor for signs of increasing respiratory distress. So this can be breathing fast, so breathing over 60 times per minute for children less than 12 months of age, or breathing less than 50 times, more than 50 times per minute in children 12 to 24 months of age. They may have significant retractions, which is where they're using their chest muscles and tummy muscles to really suck in hard to breathe, or they're having significant audible wheezing. Or they can also sometimes be having grunting as well, where they're really pushing and straining, which each breath is having a hard time breathing. Monitor for signs of dehydration, like we discussed before, and monitor for signs of lethargy. And lethargy is when a child is limp, has very poor responsiveness, and is unable to feed. So not just a fatigued child, these children look very, very sick. Fever is not necessarily a sign of disease severity, and as long as these other symptoms are not present, fevers can be safely treated at home using acetaminophen and ibuprofen, like we talked about before. Since bronchiolitis is a viral infection, the best thing to do is really just to let it run its course and let your bo child's body take care of it on its own. There really are no treatments that can decrease the severity of illness or shorten the duration of illness, and trust us, the doctors have tried lots of different things. 
Antibiotics do not work because this is not a bacterial infection. Antivirals also don't work because none of them have been shown to work either. Over-the-counter cough and cold medications are not recommended because they are not helpful and sometimes can have some dangerous side effects. This includes natural and herbal medicines marketed for cough and colds, so you don't need to try those either. Steroids are not helpful. Albuterol, breathing treatments, and nebulizers in general do not help children with bronchiolitis, though a select few might find some short-term benefit and your pediatrician may try this. For prevention, you try to maintain a clean environment by washing the hands really well with soap and water and trying to avoid touching dirty surfaces and disinfecting surfaces as needed. Try to avoid sick people, avoid smoke exposure, and get your annual flu vaccine as well. So in conclusion, bronchiolitis is a viral lower respiratory tract infection that can be pretty bad for about five days. And just like other viral infections, as long as we are able to provide adequate supportive care and monitor for red flag symptoms, children recover from this well and do very well with this. Thank you.